Hello Codex! So it's Monday, and this is going up on Tuesday, hopefully. And this week I actually wanted to ask you guys for advice. And no, it's not about the glasses, I know they look kind of obnoxious, but, I don't know, my face felt kind of naked. So, I'm wearing them. I know they look kind of weird, um, if they don't, tell me below, because then I'd probably wear them more. They're, they're fake, by the way. My real glasses are over there, I'm wearing my contacts, and you know. Yep. The advice I need is, how do you guys get over writer's block? If you're writers, tell me, how do you get over writer's block? Because I'm stuck, and I need advice. Yes, I need advice. I have been in a state of writer's block for about four months, and this is the longest I've ever had writer's block. Usually it lasts for a few weeks to a month, but I'm just stuck. So if you could give me some advice on how to get over writer's block, if you could leave it in the comments below, contact me on one of the many links below where you can stalk me, I'd really appreciate it. So, um, aside from that, I really didn't have much else to say, so I'm going to read something from this book that my parents got me for Christmas a few years ago. Why do men have nipples? Now, I don't know why they got me this book, but it's actually kind of funny. So, it's like we really random facts. So, here we go. If any of you watch the Vlogbrothers, you know that Hank Green does Truth or Fail. The most recent Truth or Fail is about penises. And I am not ashamed to say that I got 5 out of 5! Um, yeah. I'm not afraid to say that I got a 5 out of 5 on the penis Truth or Fail. So, I'm gonna read a little doobly-doo about penises. What causes shrinkage? A penis whose flaccid length, when stretched, is more than approximately 2.5 standard deviations below average size for its age group, is referred to medically as a micropenis. Yes, it says micropenis. Anybody want to see that? Micropenis! This is not a title that any self-respecting man wants to put in his bio, but perceptions of penis size can be deceiving. Cold air, cold water, fear, anger, or anxiety can cause the penis, scrotum, and testes to be pulled closer to the body, thereby shortening it to micropenis length. I'm sure all you guys wanted to know that. Warm conditions, on the other hand, can cause the penis to lengthen. Although the size of a non-erect penis differs widely from one male to another, this variation is less apparent in the erect state. Even Seinfeld weighed in on the shrinkage issue. Some penis reference point. One, the Kinsey Report, 1948, average length of 6.20 inches, 15.25 centimeters, with a standard deviation of 0.77 inches, 1.96 centimeters. Study by the Wellas and um, by the Wellas, Wellas, Wellas? Uh, 1996, average length 5.1 inches, 13.0 centimeters. Other studies, average length of 5.7 inches, 14.5 centimeters. <laughs> so I was not ashamed to say that I got 5 out of 5 on the truth or fail about penises. And now you know a little bit more. Uh, this is actually a hilarious book. It was on sale. Uh, my parents like buying things on sale for me. They love me that much. So yeah, this is on sale. It was all, it's an awesome book. It's hilarious. Um, re really funny. So I thought you guys might want to know that. Um, I actually might put that put that on my uh, normal channel. Cause, Cause everybody wants to know stuff about penises. I hope to have a better video next time, but I think this is short. It's sweet. Uh, not really sweet. It's it's short. I think it's a decent length, but I hope to have something more substantial next week. Um, bye!